so uh lewis i saw you had a theater background um so uh, just talk to me about a bit about your background how you kind of got into the arts uh, i'd love to hear about that yeah so i started acting in quite a young age i sort of started about 11 years old and i've always sort of dabbled in it at like school and college and stuff like that and then i sort of decided i want to go for you know go to drama school so i auditioned for drama school and i got on to like this foundation course it's just a year course you do a bit of acting, but you do something called theatre art. So you sort of try out different styles of acting. So we try out like physical theatre, world performance theatre. And one of them was uh, stage combat. And I just found a new love for stage combat. Like I wasn't really a dancer. I wasn't a singer. I was just purely an actor. So I thought if I pursue stage combat and sort of stunts and that kind of thing, it's like a new, another string to your bow. So you sort of add something else to yourself sort of thing. So I auditioned to, uh, to you know, for the three-year course of doing acting and stage combat. Got into that, so I ended up spending about four years at drama school. And in that time, we did loads of Shakespeare. We did so much like Shakespeare training, a lot of theatre stuff, a little bit of like camera work, but mainly stage. So I was very used to that. And then graduated last July. And then my first ever acting role, which I was very grateful for, was uh, a play at the Globe, at Shakespeare's Globe. And obviously, you studied all this Shakespeare, and I was at the place where obviously it all started. So I was like very grateful to be there. And whilst I was there, I then got an email about this character, about Tigger. Um, so it completely was obviously one end of the you know spectrum of like going from doing Shakespeare, like a Shakespeare play, to then playing like a killer Tiger Man in a, in a horror film. So it was a it was a great sort of change, um, but it was obviously took a little while to sort of get used to it. Yeah, this is such a fun yeah. world. Tell me, tell me yeah. a bit about T Tigger in the film. Uh, what kind of mannerisms transferred over? Are you hopping around? Uh, <laughs> how are you moving yeah. around as Tigger in this? So when I first got the role, I wanted to like, I sort of watched a load of horror films and thought, who, who'd who want to base this off? And already the director sort of said to me, I want him like sort of Pennywise, Art the Clown, Freddy Krueger, these sort of characters. So I sort of watched all these horror films. I was making a note of like, what scares me? And what scares me, I found, was like that sort of frantic, like unpredictable sort of character of like, you know, from slow movement to sort of frantic movement in a burst of like a second. Um so I really studied those sort of characters. And that's what I tried to apply to Tigger. So like he's, and obviously he's a humanoid as well. So I tried to keep that, you know, that sort of tiger element to him. So he's crawling around and that kind of thing as well. And obviously you've got the cartoon as well to take into consideration. So I made sure he was like leaping and he's jumping on walls and he's, he's jumping on ceilings and different other stuff. Um, so it's sort of, sort of like a mix of like all these horror icons with the cartoon and also with the animal side of him as well. So I've tried to make this perfect sort of potion of character. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in the first film, Pooh's not really uh, speaking a ton. Do you speak in this role or was it more of a physical one? No, so it's, I would say it's more physical. That was definitely more the challenge was the physicality of him. But he does talk. So I do talk quite a lot. And the voice was actually some, uh, something that's quite important for the character. Um, so I remember talking to the director before we got on set of saying, like, what sort of accent do we want? We were going to make him English because, you know, it's set in England and the cartoon, I think, is often confused English and stuff like that. So it just didn't work. Like the English accent just didn't, it wasn't scary, it wasn't intimidating, it didn't work for the character for some reason. We made him American and I took inspiration from like Freddy Krueger's voice and um, from like uh, Ghostface a little bit as well, them sort of characters to then make his voice in this. So he does talk quite a lot actually and he has little like one liners here, like cool, cheesy one liners, and I love it. That's very fun. Um, this is your first feature film, correct? Yes, yeah, my first movie role ever. Yeah, yeah. So literally came out of drama school last July. I was at the Globe doing Shakespeare literally the minute I got up. And the next day after graduation, I was there. And then a month later, I had this role. Um, so it was crazy to sort of just in this, it was like a whirlwind of like going from one thing to the next and then ended up obviously playing Tigger. But obviously I'm very grateful and I feel very blessed for the opportunity. What what sort of stood out about being on, you know, the set for the first time and seeing yeah. this big production? Because uh, I feel like people don't realize just how how much goes into making these films. Well, so much goes into it. And everyone's got like so many people on set doing their own little thing. And it's all so important what everyone's doing, like the crew and the cast and everyone. Um, but just how practical it was, just the practical effects of it. Like, there's little bits of CGI in this film. But just the, like, the gore was just so good. And I was just, like, geeking out because I love horror films. And I love practical effects as well. So when you're, like, I'm on this side of the camera, you know, behind it, watching them sort of, you know, have all these body parts and all this blood and sort of making it come out of people, ripping bits off and going, make it obviously look so realistic as well. And I was just geeking out thinking it's so interesting to sort of see the magic behind, you know what I mean? See it sort of unfold in front of you and how 
how it all works. So I think that the biggest thing for me was probably the gore and just the the, the practical effects that they had in the film. Yeah, so so you're getting yeah. your hands bloody here. Uh, what can we expect in time in terms of just the violence? You you tease some uh, a lot of gore to expect here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's so that it's it's honestly just a bloodbath from the start to the finish. And like with Tigger, it's just there's some kills that are quicker than others. But there's some deaths. Like I keep talking about this one because it's just it's imprinted in my brain. But there's this one kill where I kill a victim and they're, they're above me and I'm doing something horror to them. I won't say well because I'm gonna spoil it, but. I'm in a literal bloodbath whilst I'm killing this person. And I remember I was completely red. So like, even the director said to me after, he was like, there's not one bit of yellow on you at all anymore. You can't see any tickets gone. It's just this is red, you know, creature. Uh, and I remember it was like in my mouth and in my eyes, just, just, just pure blood just coming down. It was like a literal shower. And I came away from that kill. And I remember the reaction of the, of the crew looking at me like, because the other ones were great, but it was kind of like, you know, that one's done. Now on to the next kill. But this one, everyone kind of took a moment. I was like, okay, that was disturbing to watch. Like, that was a mental kill. Uh, but there's loads like that. I'm ripping off all sorts of bits of people's bodies and doing things with them. And he's eating parts because obviously the tiger's got to eat. Um, so there's just anything like the worst things imaginable I'm doing to people. That's so cool. And um, one of the most impressive like parts of this film is just the costuming <laughs> and uh, yeah. the mask. What was kind of your reaction when you first saw what your Tigger was going to look like? Because uh, it, it's very scary. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I, I remember I sort of got the prosthetics fitted back in like a month before we started filming and I only had like concept pictures. They kind of said, this is what we wanted to sort of look like. And it's very different to this now, what's actually behind you. Um, so I kind of didn't really have an idea and then got the prosthetics fitted. I remember Reese sent me a, a picture just before we started filming of like the grey mould of it, of, like the outline. Uh, and then it was only until my first day on set that I actually walked over to the makeup trailer and there it was waiting for me, this mask on this mannequin head all the fur and the color and everything i was like oh my god and then obviously then about two hours later it was on me and then obviously the blood around the mouth and i remember looking in the mirror and i was like this it was for an actor it was such a special moment because it's like you're fully immersed like i'm gone like lewis is not here anymore uh so it was really sort of quite powerful to sort of look at yourself in the mirror and think this is like you're just complete you're another not even another person you're another creature <laughs> it was great for me yeah that's really cool. And then my, my last question for you, you know, to be, you know, starting out your career and getting to play such an iconic role this yeah. early and, and such a fun twist on the character to be, you know, this demonic t uh, Tigger. What does that just mean for you as an actor to have this opportunity and uh, especially so early on? Honestly, I keep saying this, but it's actually my dream role. Like it really is my dream role. Like I literally, Tigger was my favorite character in the cartoon as a kid. And I actually have Tigger toys. When I first told my family, my nan was like, you've still got all your Tigger toys at home. And it's crazy because I used to, I was obsessed with him. And then I've grown to love horror. Obviously I've got older and I love like Pennywise and I love Freddy Krueger and I love Art the Clown. They're all like heroes to me, these characters. And then when I saw the description of like, they're mixing my favorite cartoon character with all these like, these, horror icons i was like you couldn't make a better character for me and it's all prosthetics as well which is something i've always been interested in doing so for me it is like and i keep saying this but it's true it's an absolute dream to play this character